Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Phyllis. We're going to be making something yummy today. It's going to be stone ground grits in the microwave. Now stone ground grits can take a long time to cook. If you're trying to cook them on the stove in a pot, you can spend 30 to 45 minutes cooking them. I can show you how we can have grits on the table in less than 15 minutes. So let's get started. Um, I use stone ground grits that come from my hometown of Ainer, South Carolina. Um, there's somebody who grinds them there um, and he sells them on the internet. It's palmettofarms.com and you can go there and buy your own stone ground grits or you may can find them in your local grocery store. Our local grocery store has them. Um, and so we're going to start out with a half cup of stone ground grits. And so just put them in a pan. This is a one and a half liter, which is just over a quart size um, corningware dish, which does well in the microwave. And then we are going to add some salt, just regular old table salt. And I'll show you a little trick. This is something my grandma Jolly taught me. And if you scrunch your hand up like this, you'll have a little well in the bottom there. And mine holds a half teaspoon. And so, put my salt in there. And just to show you it's a half teaspoon, I'll scoop it up. And there we have a half teaspoon. So maybe you're, you can do that with your hand. And then we're going to put in some pepper, and of course pepper will be just to taste. I'd already ground a little bit, so let's just put that pepper in there, fresh ground pepper. And then give this a little stir just to mix them together. And then I take two cups of water. Now this is cold water. Do not use hot water because hot water just tends to make it lump when you pour it in there. And pour a little bit of water in, give it a little stir. Because you don't want to let lumps form as you're pouring this in. So pour it in a little bit. Give it another stir. And I use a fork. You could use a whisk, but whenever the grits start cooking and getting really um, thick, a whisk is no good to try to stir them up with. So anyway, get that all stirred in there. You got them all stirred up now, so just go ahead and pour the rest of the water in. And we are going to walk over to the microwave, and we're going to put these in because we want them to cook for four minutes the first time. So I'm going to put this pan in. Close it. And in four minutes, we'll be back to check on those grits. In the meantime, I'll be getting some tomatoes ready that we're going to serve with our um, grits. Well, our grits are almost ready. Here we go. We're going to just take them out and give them a quick little stir. You keep stirring them because you don't want them to lump up. And if you were cooking them on the stove, you'd be stirring them more often than this. But anyway, just give them a good little stir there with your fork. I'm going to stick them right back in the microwave. Hit four minutes again, and we'll be back in four minutes. I've almost got my tomatoes ready, so we're going to soon be eating. Well, grits are almost ready again. There we go. And so going to grab them out and sit them right here. Now first give them a little stir and be sure to stir all around the edges and um, just whisk that in like that. Give them a good stir and now we're going to add a half cup of milk and of course I told you before I always use skim milk or normally do because that's just what we have and then I'm going to add a half cup of water and we're going to stir both of these in. Now that'll loosen them up and they'll really be loose again. And I know you're thinking, how could that one half cup of grits possibly need all this liquid? But it does. And they'll cook up and they'll be oh so nice and creamy. So let's stick them back in the microwave. We're going to go for four more minutes and then they will be ready. And we'll be back to check on them. I've got my tomatoes ready, so you get yours ready. We'll be eating soon. Okay, our grits are almost ready. That's been 12 minutes total in the microwave. And I've been cooking some country ham. Oh, let's get these, check on the grits first. Now the um, dish is a little bit warm this time because the grits have really been boiling in there. And so, a little bit. And um, 
Now we're going to give them another big stir. And the grits will thicken up as they sit. So I just give them a good stir. Still using my fork <laughs> to stir with. And anyway, give them a good stir. And you see that creaminess from the milk, how wonderfully creamy they got. And also, we need to taste them for salt. So let's get a little taste, because you wouldn't want to serve grits that were not salty enough. Mm, those are perfect. And you'll see I picked some tomatoes right there. All I did was take a pint of grape tomatoes. I cut them in half. I put some coarse sea salt on them. Kind of took the back of my spoon and just mashed them a little bit to get the um, juices flowing in them. And they have been just sitting while I was getting everything else ready. Now let's serve us up a serving. And this half cup of grits will serve two really hungry people or three people if you're not starving. But it just takes a minute for them to set up. And anyway, we will get some tomatoes here. And just put some of these wonderful tomatoes. Tomatoes are one of my favorite things to have with my grits. And then I have also cooked some country ham here. And so, doesn't that look yummy? Right there in my little iron skillet. And that, my dear, is how we serve up our breakfast. So, let me get a little taste here. Let's have a little taste of grits and tomatoes. Mmm. You would absolutely love that. You got that creamy taste of the grits because we added that milk to it at the end. But yet they have a little bit of texture. Got the acidity of the tomatoes in there. And then I'm fixing to have a little taste of country ham to go with it. And oh, that saltiness of the country ham. That just all blends so perfect in your mouth. So go get you some stone ground grits. My husband says it's an abomination if you have instant grits or quick grits because they just do not cook up like this. And it takes almost the same amount of time. So we will see you later. I'm going to eat some breakfast.